Hey, welcome to Trapping Inc. I'm Rich Mellon. If you haven't started using the Lynx Pen system that uh, AJ taught us so well last year, you're missing out on a, uh, on a sure thing. This year we got no snow. I can't begin to uh, blind snare anywhere because it's the, the cats can go wherever they like. They, they don't have to, they're not controlled by, by the amount of snow or anything. This cat hasn't been here very long. It's very soft. Oh sure, here's his tracks right here. So since the snow and the snow started overnight, that's probably my average, you know, 18 pound cat. Um, yeah, been, been, been a, a, a great system. Uh, matter of fact, this pen here has now caught two cats this year and we're only into the uh, third week of, uh, fourth week, pardon me, uh, of the season. I'll take and show you how we set them all up again, but if you're not using this system yet, you're missing out on a big bat. Trapping is the cornerstone that Canada was built on. Brave and sometimes crazy men and women, fueled by the lucrative fur trade, explored and mapped our great nation. Hundreds of years have passed since then, but trapping still remains vibrant, strong, and steeped in the ancient traditions The fur bearers still follow the old paths and live as dictated by thousands of years of instinct. Fur only gets prime in the harsh temperatures of winter and trappers must respect and prepare for the weather. Trapping's past is firmly rooted in history, but today the gear and techniques have changed. Canada is still known for the best wild fur in the world, and today our pelts are sold on the global market. Our community is large, and our numbers are growing. We are trappers. This is what we do, and where we belong. Join us in our adventures. Welcome to Trapping Inc., the face of today's trapper. Here I am set back up again. Now, here's the most important thing. There's my snare. When he stands here, he looks right at my bait. Okay, you can see that the rest of, uh, of the pen is just twigs, there's just nothing to it. And don't overbuild this stuff. You wanna have it so that he looks at it and he knows that he can blow out the back if he has to. He knows he can jump over it. He knows that he's not in any danger. But we make it easy for them here. This is the side that's right up against my snowmobile track. This is the side that he's going to first approach it. And the thing that I've learned is if you're using the right bait, he doesn't even doesn't even circle the the uh, pan whatsoever. He goes straight in. This that's what this guy did. You can see by his tracks, he hesitated a little bit, kind of didn't even sit on his bum, and then walked straight in. The correct lure is, is what works, and I don't. Uh, I don't use any bait in here. I don't have any bycatch of anything else as far as something uh, eaten on beaver or anything else. It's just the lure. So using the proper lure is, is uh, important. I will show you later on in the show how to tie this, this snare. This is the ultimate snare for, for catching cats and it's the fastest one to set ever. But let's get on down the trail. So we got ourselves a little situation here. We do. We kind of got a perfect storm going on here. We sat, we uh, put this uh, Lynx pen in here, uh, reopened it here two days ago, something like that. And uh, well, I just- Before the snow, clearly. Well, yeah, I mean, but it only snowed, it only snowed last night. So we, uh, I just rammed my stick in. You can see what was rammed in right there. And that was, that was good, right? And usually, Usually what I've got going on here is, uh, there's a couple things. 
I usually have a flag, put a flag on top of uh, on top of my snare pole. I didn't on this one, and we usually have snow, so the snow we can track the track the animal pretty pretty easy. But I think if we just look around and oh, I think I might see my pole back here. Let's go take a look. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, he's a nice cat too. Big. Oh, yeah. Look at the beard on him. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Helford's, unique beyond compare. Helford'sMailOrder.com Belisle Traps, first in the forest. BelisleTrap.com And by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Welcome to Halfords, the leader in quality for over 100 years. Today we stock in-store and online over 5,000 superior products for hands-on outdoors people like you. Everything is here for trapping, animal damage control, as well as butchering supplies, food equipment, and authentic native arts, leather, and craft supplies. Make Halfords your first stop for the best selection of highest quality. Halfords, built on the traditions of honesty, integrity, and service. <laughs> there we go. Okay, they never get far. That pole tangles up, and a cat doesn't doesn't make it very long with a, in a snare. He would have made this trip in 20 seconds, something like that. It's just this was a perfect bad storm because there's not there's not enough snow to track in or anything else. But we have ourselves another cat, and we can set this all back up again. Right back at the uh, at the pen. That's great. That is great. He sure looks long-legged, huh? <laughs> I th I think the lynx always look long-legged, though. You know, yeah, but they they're taller than you think they are. But they always look like they've got long, long legs. Look how blue he is. Yeah. My goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh like my! Fur this time of year, of course. I mean, it's just, <laughs> just so blue, so blue. Perfect catch around the neck. I'll take that off once he's thawed because I don't want to risk damaging anything. Holy cow! Let's get back there. Get set up. These are my snares that I used last year. I'll show you. Well, they're not the, the wire though, I and mean, isn't like the. No, the snare isn't been re, hasn't been used, but it, they have been mounted. That's why it's it's a little bit kinked up here. Oh, I'll see. show you later on the show how to make these. Uh, Robin Marshall showed me, and I'll for, be forever in his debt. He'll never get nothing for it, but I'll be forever in his debt because it's just <laughs> the most awesome system. <laughs> First off, you take and brush out all the snow. Winters, when you have lots of snow, this can be a lot of work. This creates a bit of curiosity for them, though, well, because it's different, right? Yep. It's different looking from the snowy terrain. And not only that, but you can smell it yourself. You can imagine how strong that smell is to them, right? Okay. Now, this is my first cat ever on something other than my homemade lure. This is actually a, a store-bought lure. And it's not even made for cats. It's made for for canines. But cats, uh, you know, bobcats in the states and that they they uh, use the same lures and everything, same sets for the bobcats. So I thought I'd give it a try on a lynx. It worked so far. <laughs> so far, our first experiment has been good. Oh, 
I want him looking right there. That's what I want him focused on. If you get down here and you take a look, there's what he sees. And that's, that's what's important. We want him focused on that because it's another way of, of positioning his head so that we get a good, a good snare. And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Okay, here's how we make what I like to call the ultimate link snare. We use 1 16th cable. Now, there's two different kinds of 1 16th cable out there that you're going to see. Uh, one is the 1 by 19. I don't like 1 by 19. It, it has cost me cats because it is so stiff, it doesn't want to fall as easily as the 7 by 7 does. Some people like it. Use what you like. Now, when we take and, and crimp on our our cam lock here, now it can be any sort of cam lock. This year I've got a, um, just a tooth cam lock. It works uh, awesome on them. So does uh, micro or slim locks, whatever you, whatever you prefer. Now, when we're putting this snare together, here's the biggest mistake that, that people make. You have a curve. Your cable comes off, it has a curve. Don't fight the curve. Use the curve to, to help develop your, the, the shape of your snare. The other thing they do wrong is on this right here, this little um, crimp, they tighten this loop up too much. Give it some slack. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit big. Give it some slack so that it can properly swing in here and help you make that, that loop. Now, that's very simple, basic snare. See how easy that falls? That's sweet. What we do now to make the ultimate snare is we take a piece of hay wire. Uh, I don't know, I like it about three feet long, so when I double it up, I got 18 inches or two feet. And then I take a 3 30 second uh, double ferrule, 3 30 second, that's important because we're going to take and, and shove the two pieces of this through. And we're going to shove the one piece of our 1 16th cable in there as well. Okay, and once we're there, we just take and give them a, a crimp. Now we've got an instant snare, the one that you've watched me set so many times. And away you go. Now start with, start with a 30 inch piece of seven by seven. That gives you your eight to eight and a quarter inch loop, a little plump. There we go, we're ready for kitties. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. This is a spot for, a, for another cat pen? I think so. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah. We've had lots of cats. Well, I think there's lots of cats, but there has been cat activity through here too, hey. I like being at these junctions. And I really like the sunshine getting on the lure. Warming it up, keeping it warm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're not fencing them. We're just kind of controlling them. The cat comes up and he knows that he can jump over this, he can jump out of it. He's not going into a trap. He doesn't it's not think. like a box or something like that. Well, yeah. He's got a... I guess when you understand cats, understand their physiology, there's nothing harder than getting them to shove their head into a, into a, uh, you know, into a, 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 a trap that, like a box trap, right? because he doesn't like to do that. He's not like a weasel. And he doesn't like the uh, going into a hole and that. That doesn't, isn't natural for him. A few unmentionable things in here. <laughs> Don't that look wonderful? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's wonderful to a cat. Does anybody ever take a deep breath of that? Right? And then we take a couple of smooth sticks. 
this is uh, there we go. This is the interesting part. These are smooth as compared to this stuff, which sticks to his fur and catches his fur. This has the <laughs> effect in a cat's world of focusing him, bringing him here to this opening where we want him. Isn't that strange? His way in. Yeah. And he picks them out because of these smooth sticks. There. Okay. I just need another twig here, and I see a twig back there that needs to be shoved in place. And a little bit of pee on the tree. Okay, a little bit of pee at the back. One peek in, take a look. Make sure our stick is on the height of the center of our of our snare. He looks like he, you know, he knows that he can jump over this or bust out of it. It's not really confinement or a trap. In he goes. Trapping Inc. is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Argo UTV, any season, any terrain. ArgoUTV.com. Puma Knives, knife maker to the world since 1786. And by Carl Zeiss Sport Optics, we make it visible. Gentech-intl.com. Welcome to Halfords the leader in quality for over 100 years. Today we stock in-store and online over 5,000 superior products for hands-on outdoors people like you. Everything is here for trapping, animal damage control, as well as butchering supplies, food equipment, and authentic native arts, leather, and craft supplies. Make Halfords your first stop for the best selection of highest quality. Halfords, built on the traditions of honesty, integrity, and service. There's a site that makes 1.30 oh, in the morning look better. <laughs> Take a look at this cat. Nice cat. Okay. Oh, it didn't take us. It didn't take him long to get in a circle here, did it? That's the thing about these cats is that uh, they very quickly entangle and it's all over. Oh man, nice catch up high. You can see the his automatic one of the cat's automatic reactions is to is to tug on the, the cable and they, they only bring about the end that much quicker. What a beautiful cat. Nice big one. This is uh, probably 22, 23 pounds. Get this set back up here. If you're not using these pens for, for links yet, yet, you know, if you're not onto this snare pen system, you are missing out on a sure bet. It is easily the best system out there for picking up these cats. It's quick, it's fast, uh, it's inexpensive. You can set up so many of them. You can set them up quickly and for, for very little value. I mean, there. That's that's all, all that's involved. A little, a, a, a snare that's made out of 30 inches of uh, the 1 16th wire and some hay wire. I know it looks wonderful, doesn't it? I'm a believer, I tell you, 
It catches lots and lots of kitties, that's all I care. Three hundred yards. Three hundred yards down the trail. I literally haven't even had time to put my gloves back on. See this cat out here in the, as the snow's falling again, right? Anyway, 300 yards back there on the other side of the trail, we just picked up that last one. And here's one right here on the other side of the trail. Now, one thing that you want to think about, oh, it's another, this is a big one. Look at the size of that cat. One thing to think about is, uh, the fact that you should play the wind both ways. So this is roughly running north and south here, this, this uh, line, and I have taken and, uh, uh, you know, have, have one on each side, one on the west side, one on the east side, depending which way the wind's blowing. So something to think about. It certainly can, ha can help you out on, on uh, situations when the, when the wind, uh, you know, shifts around on you. Most of the time we have a west or a northwest here. But, you know, obviously the, the, there was an east or something that, that, that drew him to it. And we got a nice catch. All right? A little bit of pee back there. It's all nice and clean. This one's a little different. You notice there's this big step up here. So I had to set, set it up here rather than have it down here because the cat will step up and look in here. And once again, you got to think about we're aiming this cat and we're aiming it right at that, at that lure there. So if he's fixated on that lure, his head goes right in here and that's what we want. So just think about that. Think about aiming the cat just like you'd aim a gun and uh, it makes a big difference. Got another beautiful cat here. Look at that. How huge these feet are on him. There we go. Another beauty ready for, ready for sale. Check out these Lynx pens. It's as close as you're ever going to come to having a conversation with a cat. And I find that absolutely fascinating. To me, it's the ultimate achievement, not to get them in there with bait or anything else, but to actually take advantage of, of the cat, have a chat with them, say, come on into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Nothing replaces time on the trap line and the experience that it brings, and I hope to see you out there. You can keep up with all the action at trappinginc.com or join our Facebook and YouTube sites.